Hey scrapbook friends, it's Nicole from Nicole Scrapbooks and I'm here with another album flip through and this happens to be my family album from 2015. I thought that I had 2016 finished and I could show it to you but turns out 2016 is not quite finished. Apparently I'm waiting on pictures that I've misplaced and probably just need to reprint for a couple of layouts. So we're going to do 2015. This is a three volume scrapbook for our family album. Um, someday I hope to, you know, maybe be able to fit my whole family album in a year, but right now I, or my whole family album in one album for a year, but for right now I am, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's two. And you know what? I love all the things. And so I'm fortunate that I am able to spend the time and the money to do my scrapbooks. So here we got with our title page. This is a tree shape that I found on Google Images. I imported it into Make the Cut software and cut it on my silhouette. And you will see that all three title pages on my three volumes are gonna have the same tree but decorated differently. So this of course is the winter tree and this starts in January of our family album. And I did do a little pen art around the edge of the page. I just, you know, drew with a pen and a few little curly cues and dots or whatever to make, give it a little bit of uh, interest, break that up um, from just being a big blank page. All right, so we're starting with what I wrote as NY3 as opposed to NYE. Um, my sister and her family lived in Wisconsin and drove down to see us, um, but they came after New Year's. So we'd had a New Year's Eve party with some of our friends and we did another NY3 party with my sister and her family. Um, I have this, I found this glitter um, chevron paper. Can you see that it's glitter? I know we're all distracted by the holographic. And so I loved this glittery paper. I had red glitter, red metallic, this holographic paper. I think this is color Bach. Just kind of an over the top layout, but for me, I, I'm i a little over the top sometimes. And if you can't be over the top on a New Year's Eve page, when can you? And so I did uh, this layout. The next layout, um, our New Year's Eve tradition, we have a chocolate fountain and so that's kind of one of the reasons why we wanted to do that was do the chocolate fountain. And you can see again, this layout is very, very similar to the previous layout. Just the arrangement of the photos is a little bit different, but I use the same, um, you know, red glitter, the chevron glitter and the holographic. And, you know, why not keep going? Um, same layout. So, you know, this is all New Year's Eve three NY three, um, Love the little uh, after effects of the chocolate fountain. So I took a lot of pictures of that and that was fun to do. And this is why you can see that I have three volumes, very thick volumes of this particular year's family album. All right, uh, as my kids have gotten older, I have fewer pictures of the things that my kids do and more and more pictures of the things that my cats do. And so I always love cat pages. And this one I think was on a Pinterest idea. A lot of the layouts that I do um, are inspired by uh, layouts on Pinterest. I, I just find that that's a good place for me to start um, with what I want to do. A piece of advice that I was given when I joined Pinterest is to keep your uh, Pinterest boards very specific. So on my Pinterest boards, if you are interested, you can find me at uh, pinterest.com slash Nicole. So S-O-H is my last name and I see O-L-E-S-O-H. And I'll link to that in the comments if I remember, if not, ask me. Um, and so then you, you will see if you go to my Pinterest boards that I have one that says scrapbook pets, scrapbook Christmas, scrapbook spring, scrapbook school, you know, all those different categories. So when I have a bunch of pet pictures, I can go straight to that pet board and find an idea rather than scrolling through, you know, 5,000 boards, uh, pins under the board scrapbook. I do not know um, where these stickers came from, but I mounted them on circles and then put a little uh, scallop circle behind. Probably that scallop circle is from Stampin' Up! And maybe the small circle too, but I don't know. Uh, 
I ha we lived in North Carolina for many years and I have a group of friends that every January come down and we do a, a weekend retreat together uh, in my home. And it's just very fun to have our little, our little crop club retreat with these girls from, um, that were my regular scrapbook friends back in uh, North Carolina. So more pictures of my cat. My cat loves my scrapbook friends. And um, so you can see again, I've done the same two, kind of the same theme. This border right here is the film strip border cartridge with the lace flower chain. Both of these are retired. But one of the things I love about the border maker is because of the way the border maker is designed, they're pretty symmetrical. And so you can layer borders together. And I thought that worked really well for my uh, my crop club pictures. So we had matching shirts, husband took the picture. So that was just our fun little crop club. Uh, was able to go down to Disney. Um, one of my friends lived down there, lives, still lives down there. And we have been talking for many years about going to Disney together. And so she um, invited me to come to her house and we went to Disney for a few t a few days. And that was very fun. Very different to go to Disney with like a local Florida person. Um, because she, when I go to Disney, we start in the morning and we stay all night. And she had to like go home and cook dinner and all that stuff. So, but that was fun to get to go and, and see my friend and go um, visit Disney with her. Here's a, another picture of another one of my scrapbook friends, Dawn, who happened to be at Disney. The same time I was at Disney, we had not met in person but we knew we were both gonna be there and we arranged just long enough to take a quick quick picture. So Dawn, if you're watching this, hello. Remember that time we met at Animal Kingdom? That was really fun. So usually I do a full Disney album when I go to Disney, but it was just different being there just with a friend and just for a couple hours a day. But several of these layouts I think would work in any, you know, album. Um, took her to Boma, which is my very favorite restaurant. If you guys know that, it was her first time and I think she liked it. So maybe the reason this is a three volume family year is because I probably should have done a full Disney album. But this is some paper that I had for a long time. Um, I don't know who made it, but it had this kind of big sorcerer's hat on one side and the little sorcerer's hats on the other. I did not know at that time that they were going to be taking, when I bought the paper, that they were going to be taking down the sorcerer's hat, but this is right when they were taking it down. So I was like, oh, I better use that real quick. Went and had um, breakfast at Kona Grill at the Polynesian, and then we were driving home. We didn't stay for the fireworks, but the fireworks started, so we pulled off into a little parking lot on our way home and got to see the fireworks and I wrote front road seats because you can see there's like a stop sign that kind of blocked my view of the fireworks, but nothing else. So that was fun, our front road seats. So I headed home to uh, Alabama and it had snowed. We don't get a lot of snow. Um, so it's a huge big treat for us. I don't get to scrapbook a lot of snow. So that's a huge treat for me. And I did go a little overboard on these two. This whole album I'm beginning to realize is a little bit overboard. This back piece was something I got probably from the Silhouette store, Cricut store. I don't know where it came from, but I printed it big. I layered it on a darker teal. I put it on purple. I have some of this stripe. I made the snowmen that have little uh, coal buttons and eyes with little jewels. And then I did it for a whole bunch of pages. So just bear with me. This is Alabama. Snow's a big deal. So here we are in the little pink snow down up here in North Alabama. And I just kept going with this same thing all the way through. Here's some little snowballs. So I know you guys up there in Michigan are just rolling your eyes at me, but I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not ashamed of my love of snow. So lots and lots of snow pictures. These actually, I think I harvested off of a Facebook group because it's the high school and I we didn't leave our house. We live up on a hill and we weren't going anywhere. So some more snow pictures. Finally, I stopped doing snowmen because we were just sledding. We live on a hill and so we have lots of fun sledding right here in our front yard. Cats aren't quite sure what they think about the snow, 
but it was fun to watch them. So I did the paw print uh, border maker punch here. And I like how I um, journaled along the curve of this uh, little paper that I cut. I think that made it fun and gave it a little, a little interest after which I admit might be a few boring pages, but it was snow. We like snow. For the first time, I made snow cream. First time in my life. We remembered to put the bowl out as it started snowing. So we knew that the snow would be clean. It wasn't going to have touched the ground. So this was when it first started snowing. And then by the time we were done, you could barely, barely see it. My daughter brought it in and there must have been like four inches of snow on top. And so I put the snow cream recipe in here. We made it, we ate it. It was quite delicious. And this was in 2015 and we haven't had good snow since then. We've had a dusting, but um, I think it's time for some more snow. Um, I'll have to put in a uh, work order for that snow with the weather department and make sure that it happens on a convenient week and not an inconvenient week because in Alabama, everything will shut down. So here's kind of the next day or the night of, this is the, the side of our front walkway. Again, Alabama, okay, this is a big deal. We were right about almost to seven inches uh, this is the bush that my uh, husband crashed into when he was sledding down. And then this tiny little snowman that held on for several days after everything else around it had melted. He was, he started out big and then as snowmen do, he got smaller and smaller. And I love this one with all the snowmen. And this is probably, again, one that I saw on Pinterest and was inspired by. So all the little snowmen um, was fun. I had a good time with it. The little um buttons I probably used like every single black gem that I've ever owned but it was worth it because aren't these fun pages like I don't know 10 12 of them lots and lots of snow pages but if for this is five years worth of snow pages it just happens to all be in one album all right so then I just had some random pictures about different things um and I just kind of put those together a picture with our friend uh Pi Day 31415 t-shirt. And I don't know why I took a picture of this cat. Um, because I carry a phone in my pocket, now with my uh, a camera in my pocket with my phone, I take pictures that I would not have taken 20 years ago. And sometimes I scrapbook them. I'm getting a little bit better. Um, my husband was in a Clash of Clans phase of his quote unquote gaming life. And I caught this picture of him after church one Sunday. So he's down on the floor wearing his suit and a couple of the little boys from church were very, very interested in him um, and his Clash of Clans game, which I thought was very cute. So here's my little scrapbook kitty um, down here on my scrapbooking table with me. He loves to be down with me. Well, my unfortunately, we've lost this cat. Um, he got out one night and has never come back. So I hope wherever he is, he's happy and um, knows that we miss him. But I just have lots of fun pictures of him and then my other, my black cat, you'll see more of him. But just lots of pictures. I could probably do a whole album of my scrapbooking helper cats. Uh, this was a retreat that I went to uh, every year for several years in the spring. Uh, again, a Pinterest idea. This is a super cute and easy tree idea. Just start with some kind of like a tree branch and then circles in a couple of different sizes. Some of them I did do a little bit of pen work around, like these lighter colors. Maybe I did it around all of them. Uh, I guess I did do it around all of them, but I think this is a really fun tree. And every now and again, you need to fill up some space. So use this one sparingly, but I have a couple layouts for this um, Skyline Retreat that I used to go to. This is the Medallion Frame Chain Border Maker Cartridge. This is one of the prettiest border maker cartridges that Creative Memories has ever come out come out with. Unfortunately, it is so delicate that it's really easy to get it jammed up. I have been through two of the medallion frame chain border maker cartridges, and much as I love it, I like to warn people, it is going to cut beautifully until it doesn't. And so just be aware that if you're going to buy this one, it's going to probably have a a short but beautiful life. Um, this was a scallop. Maybe it was just called the scallop. This was an old CM border maker cartridge. I layered those together. Um, don't know what font this is. Again, these are all from before I started 
had any idea that I would ever do anything on um, YouTube. I don't know why we had an ambulance there. It wasn't our group, but of course we're scrapbookers. We took pictures of it. So just some of the friends and another picture. I did a little bit of journaling, but follow that same kind of idea with a little baby tree. This is my sweet friend, Judy. I think Judy watches my YouTube videos. So hello, Judy, we miss you. She came down um, to go to the Skyline retreat with, with my other friend, Frida and I, and uh, we went shopping. We happened to go to Hobby Lobby and discover that she and I were just on trend for the colors that uh, were in the store. So we took a picture and then we went to a yogurt, frozen yogurt place with our families um, the night that she left. All right, we live just a couple hours south of Nashville and my daughter's choir performed in a choir competition up there and I went along as one of the chaperones. So most of these pictures will be in her school album if I ever get that done. But I did do um, a layout for our family albums because I went with her and we had some of these fun kind of Nashvillean pictures. I thought that the music note background worked great for Nashville, the music city. And it was easy. It was, it kind of allowed me to create my own pattern paper and, um, you know, have that music, that musical feel. And then here's just some pictures of my son here in my scrapbook room, um, playing with the cat. The cats love to be in here while I'm scrapbooking. As we speak, my cat is just on the other side of my table. I have a cat trap for him. Uh, which is a cardboard box with a, foam, with a foam cushion in it. He can't resist it. So here we go. This is volume one of our 2015 album. I need to try that trick of taping some paper on to keep the, the spines from popping out. But as you can see, it's a pretty thick book. And there are two more of these. So I'm going to film them in separate videos and post them a day or two apart so that you don't have to spend an hour of your life watching a year of mine. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and got some ideas for use in your own scrapbooks. And I'll be back here on YouTube very soon. Thanks a lot. Happy scrapbooking.